Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to another video tutorial of ClickView by BISP Solutions. In this tutorial, I will be going to calculate the yearly spending analysis in ClickView and generate reports on same. And for doing this, I have already prepared the data into an Excel sheet. So you can use SQL data or Oracle data for the same as well. So first of all, let me tell you the data sheet which I have prepared the data set. That's my data set. You can see I have prepared an Excel sheet and in this Excel sheet, this is the May data. So we have got four columns, four categories, grocery, clothes, food and movie. And that's the day wise analysis that every day. So I'm doing the calculation on day wise. So I'm going to prepare a chart on in ClickView for the same thing. So let's see how to do the analysis in ClickView. So I open ClickView, create a new ClickView document. Let me save this first. So on my desktop, I set spend analysis, save this. Now to load the data into click view, we need to take the help of script. So I click on edit a script. So either we can click here to open edit a script or we can go to file and we can click on edit a script or we can use the shortcut key as well, control E. So I click on edit a script. So this is the script editor. Here we have various options to connect to the data. So the data which I'm going to use here is, or for my example, here it is the Excel sheet. So it, I'm going to use the data table. If you are using the data from Oracle or from SQL, then you have to use ODBC or OLEDB. You can get in, you can connect your Salesforce data as well here. So I click on table file and load the data. That's my data yearly spending. Open. These are the various columns. We, these are the, we have got five columns, date, grocery, clothes, food and movie. And uh, that's okay. This is the first column, the first sheet. So I click on finish and the data is loaded. The script has added here. I simply save this and reload this. So the script is load, loaded and we have got 31 lines. Click on close. Okay. Now first I'm going to add one list box. So I add a list box as a date it's a date list box then I want to add a new chart and in this chart I use the straight table I'm going to use straight table I click straight table and date wise so date wise I click on add so I choose my dimension as a date and next so expression so I calc so I select the expression sum of clothes, sum of food, sum of grocery, sum of movies. So whatever means how much spend we have done on we how much money we have spent on each of the uh, on the category clothes, food or grocery or movies. So I go with let's say I go with grocery and paste this. Okay. And I add a label total. Finish. So this we have done so it is so I displayed this so that's the calculation we have got but it's not calculating all the data because we have uh, the rest of the records they don't in the rest of the dates they don't have data okay this is only for the first month next is if but it is not a proper one because if we have to calculate for grocery then we need to we can add one more column for we can add one more expression for uh, I can add one more expression for close as well paste it okay I can add another expression for sum of let's say food okay and I can add one more expression sum of movie So according to me, it's not a proper calculation. Why it is not a proper calculation? Because I want to dis uh, means I want to show the spending analysis. My spending analysis category wise, like how much money I have spent in in grocery, how much total money I have spent on sum, how much total money I have spent on food, on 
movie in a respective month so to do that we have to do a little bit modification this so how to do that so again I open edit a script I'm going to use shortcut now so I click on edit a script and I see there is an option here to edit this the connection the load the data the table file so I click on this and here I click on next simple click on next next and we are going to use cross tab table feature available in click view so I click on cross table and here attribute field is basically on what so basically we would like to do the calculation on all the categories together like grocery clothes food movies and according to date wise so I here I give a name attribute field category and date data field is amount amount spent and okay so you can see here on May we have spent on grocery we spend 100 and uh, on 2nd May we spend so it's a category wise now grocery close food movie grocery close food movie and we finish it and I add a name here I give this is for May month so I give May spending and save this and reload this close okay so we need to remove this and add the column again add the data table again so again I right click new sheet object chart and I go with straight table next this time we have available field so we have a category so I go with category as my dimension next and my expression will be sum of amount spent okay and the label is total spent and finish so like this I can easily calculate that in month of May on close I have spent 1500 rupees on food I have spent 3100 on grocery I have spent 1300 on movie I have spent 550 but if you see the data set the data set which I have created this is only for one month because the calculation we have done we are doing the calculation only for one month but if you see this data set we have got four sheets for May we have for June then July for August so I would like to do the calculations for all the respective months as well for June as well for July as well for August as well and here it is playing only for the specific month so how to display the total how much how much spending we have done in all the four months so again open edit script and so I copy this I copy the script and paste it three more times so we have got June July and August and I change the sheet names so this is for May this is for the sheet name should be same so I give June July and August and at the top instead of my spend, main spending I set praise save it and reload it and close ok so you can see the total has changed now the close in all respective months in all together months in four months on close I have spent six 6400 rupees on food I have spent 12300 rupees on grocery I have spent 12300 rupees on movie I have spent 2350 rupees but now I want to uh, see that in month of May how much money I have spent on clothes on food on grocery and movie I would like to further categorize it according to date wise according to month wise so how to do that right click on this property and we are going to add look for dimension and we are going to add a new dimension here so that will be a calculated dimension so I click on add calculated dimension and here I write equal to month of and month of date so we use this. okay apply 
and okay so now we can see clearly that in in month of july on clothes we spend 400 rupees in month of july on food we spend 3100 rupees in month of july in month uh, on grocery we spend 3000 rupees and so on so same thing i would like to display using list box i would like to create a list box for category and for month so first of all i remove this and i'm going to add a new list box for this will that will display all the category so i look for i select the category and give a title category here and okay so that's the category now i would like to track i would like to display month wise as well so again i create a new list box and i'm going to add a new expression so again i use the same expression just the expression which we entered just now month of and date paste it okay and add a label so now we can easily track that now i would like to track that in the month of july on close how much money i have spent so it's easy for me to track now it is easy for anyone to track the his total spending and the total spending is this one all together now if you would like to display the same thing in the form of a chart so in the form of a bar graph so we can simply add a new bar graph so i can again click on chart so this is in a table box in a straight table i would like to display the same thing in the graphical format in the bar chart so again i click on bar chart and i add a window title uh, let's say yearly spending chart type chart type will be bar chart next i add category and one calculated dimension is equal to month of date okay and the expression will be sum of amount spent okay and total amount and finish so you can see so it's clearly explained that how much money we have spent and uh, by using a bar graph or we can exp we can calculate the we can do the analysis or our spending analysis by using a straight table as well so that's all in this video so i hope this video help you to calculate the spending analysis or your yearly analysis i have done only for 4 months you can calculate it for all 12 months for the complete year so if you have any questions or any queries you can visit our website www.bsptrainings.com more videos on clickview you can subscribe our youtube channel that's all in this video have a nice day ahead